We are almost done with our 70th anniversary Summit small block build. Today we're gonna to work on a tunnel ram intake, we're gonna do the Holly induction system, do an ignition system, and we're running out of time. We have to have this thing on the dyno tomorrow and there are a lot of odds and ends to finish up. So stick around as we get everything ready and we're gonna see what kind of horsepower this thing actually makes. There really isn't a more iconic induction setup for a small block Chevy than a tunnel ram. Got our finned aluminum valve covers on our orange small block Chevy. That is a pretty classic look and it's exactly what we're going for. We installed a Summit SFI balancer. Um, this engine's gonna turn a lot of RPM. SFI balancer was really important, so we went ahead and did that. Mike knocked some freeze plugs into it. And since we're trying to hide some modern technology and something that looks really old, we decided that we'd go with a Holly Terminator X stealth system. Now this is really cool because these look like good old school 4150 Holly double pumper carburetors, but they're actually fuel injection and we're gonna be able to tune them. This is gonna be a really, really cool setup that is gonna be a lot of fun on the street and also should make a great number on the dyno. So why fuel injection? I've run carburetors on a bunch of tunnel rams, bunch of bunch of engines, and I, I love carburetors. You know, I spent some time at Holly. I'm a big carb fan, but I thought, you know, with the premise of this engine, it's it's celebrating 70 years of developing the small block Chevy, right? This engine isn't the same as the small block Chevy that you got in 1955. It's got a hydraulic roller cam. It's got a ton more displacement. It's got a modern piston in it. You know, it's got all of these good things that help make power and help make drivability. And I thought, well, let's see how, you know, new school fuel injection works on old school tunnel ram. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's a few things that you can do with this that you just can't do with a carburetor, right? You've, you've got an IAC, so you can, you know, control the idle, you can bump it up if you have air conditioning on. If you wanted to do a dry shot of nitrous, you can add fuel and control the nitrous through the Holly ECU. I just thought it kind of, it fit the vibe of what we're trying to do here. And I've never really seen anybody do this on a tunnel ram. I, I've seen it done where you have one fuel injection unit in the middle and you're asking the fuel to go this much, you know, six inches to the right and six inches to the left and it doesn't always work out. But with this setup, we've actually got an injector over each runner and I think this is gonna work really well. And we won't have to pull 16 bowl screws out and spill fuel all over the place. That's right, no jets to change, so <laughs> I'll keep my hands Just clean. Just push, push some buttons, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I think this is gonna work well and it's unique and it just, 70 years, things have gotten better, things have gotten more high tech. <laughs> We're moving a, in the right direction. Yeah, I certainly hope so. Well, Mike is finishing up the linkage here. Uh, I've got the drill um, with the Summit Racing priming tool inside of the SPC block. Been spinning that for a little while until we felt resistance and we started seeing oil come out of all the right places. It's such a good thing to do on a fresh motor because you know you sit there on the starter and you're cranking it and cranking it, getting the starter hot, things aren't lubricated. It, it introduces a lot of wear early on that just doesn't need to happen. So we've got our priming tool, we've got oil pressure, one more step towards being ready for the dyno. I'm gonna stab the distributor in right now. It's a Holly dual sync. Those are really great because they use a cam sensor and a crank sensor inside of the distributor. So if you wanna run sequential fuel injection, you can. For this, we're probably gonna do batch fire. It's not gonna really matter in terms of our ultimate horsepower, but that's the next step. And uh, then I think we can put this thing on a cradle and get it to the dyno shop. We're working through a couple of the last finishing touches on this engine. We have this really nice billet timing pointer from Summit, but it was designed to work with our stamped steel front cover. This being a billet front cover is a little bit thicker, so I kind of popped this onto my drill press and shaved off the back, cleaned it up, and now it's, it sits perfectly flush with the balancer. It's gonna make it really easy to find our timing on the dyno. Couple more odds and ends to clean up, but we're getting really close to making some noise and making some big power. Still moving.
Well, we're a couple days into building this engine and we are all very tired, but hey, it's done and I could not be happier with it. This thing came out great. We've got our camel hump heads, our summit racing block. It's orange, it's got the tunnel ram, it's got fuel injection. Everything went together so well and the few parts that we didn't have or needed something different, you know, you they were available. You go to a local parts store, it's a small block Chevy. We were able to find everything that we needed and you just, you can't do that with other engines. Nope. You know, you're not gonna be able to find the stuff in a pinch and we were. This is ready to go to the dyno and Mike, I'm, I love this thing. What do you think? It's about? looking good. Hopefully it sounds as good and runs as good. <laughs> right, there's always that initial hesitation on a fresh engine the first time you dyno it, but tomorrow's- Fingers crossed. Yeah, exactly, knock on some wood and Tomorrow's the moment of truth. We're gonna head to West Tech, we're gonna strap this thing to the Superflow, and we're gonna see what kind of power it actually makes. It should, uh, should make some noise. We'll see. Make some steam. Fingers crossed. All right, until then. Delousing your ratchet here, it's got to, we got this kind of gasket sealer, we got that kind of sealer. <laughs> it's got the white stuff, it's got the black stuff. It's got all kinds of stuff. My thumbs got different colored. Look, I got orange, black, white. I got it all today. <laughs>